Discussion time with Mr. Khalid. City in that uh, 22 city that uh, has been seen in the video, and what is the uh, the the culture in in the capital city, and okay. the name of the capital Good city? Question. Okay, yeah. so uh, the country name is Yemen, Yemen. Okay, and then the capital is Sanaa. S A double N A Sanaa. Sanaa means in, in Arabic, we pronounce it Sana'a. Sana'a means Sina, like it means to build something. So the, 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 the name of the city means to build civilization, to build cities, to build good things for people, uh, to help people make life easy. So, uh, so do you do you have any want something to add? The traditional. The traditional. Yeah, about the tradition. So about the tradition, there is different ways in in dancing, in eating food. Like for example, food in Sanaa is is very very traditional and very good. So if you if you go to Yemen, the first thing you should eat is you go to the capital, you go to Sanaa, you go eat that food because it's very special. I see. I seen this very famous uh, YouTuber. She she travels the world and she tries different food, every country. And then when they ask her after 20 years, what is your favorite meal of all time? She said a meal in Sanaa. It's called Salta. So Salta is a, is a very Yemeni traditional food, but the taste of it is, is very good. It's very traditional, old and old. Because now what we eat is like pizza, McDonald's, these things. It's very not good. You know, it's fake. It's not. You, you can eat it, but then you feel your belly hurt you. Whatever. It's not natural. So the good thing about it, it's first, it's very natural. Second, it tastes so good. So that's about the food. Second, about the tradition. Uh, like we said, do you remember the the knife I showed you? They they put it there the to save themselves. The jambia. So uh, the jambia is uh, is the tradition also of Sanaa. Yeah. So there is a lot of things I can talk to you about the different uh, traditions in Sanaa, but it will take a long time. But I hope that's that's an answer a little bit, and then you can search on it. Okay. Okay. You mean the islands, like the one I show, is it yes. access to people? Uh, some of the islands are inhabitable, meaning you can uh, live in it, and some of them you cannot. But most of the islands in Yemen, yes, people live in it. Like, for example, that uh, island, it's called Socotra. Socotra, there are some people in it, but it's, a, it's very... Uh, there, there isn't city life. There, there isn't malls and things like that. No, still just small buildings and, and, and just traditional people. But uh, the cities, they have more life. So yeah, that's okay. yeah. That you study. Study. Uh, so I studied in a in a university in Surabaya. It's called uh, Narutama. So I studied business management. Uh, it's a very good university in business management, economy. Uh, I got a scholarship. You know scholarship. So when I was in Yemen, they give me a chance to study there for free. Everything. That's a scholarship. Yeah. Uh, so if you study hard and then you get good grades in school, when you go to university, you will study for free because you have good grades. Yes. If you have 95, 97, you will go for free. You just need English. You take the test for English. And if you have good grades in school, you will study everywhere. You can go outside. You can go to Europe. You can go to the United States. You can do it. Okay? And why... The Indonesian people is choosing the Tarim Tarim city, but there is one big city again in the Yaman named Hadramaut. And is there is something interesting in Tarim city? Hadramaut, but there is a university very famous. It's called Tarim. So people there, they go, Indonesians, a lot of Indonesians go study in, in Mukalla and Tarim. So they either study, usually both, they study Arabic and re religious, Islamic studies. Yeah. So if somebody wants to study Islam, uh, they, if they go to Yemen, it's, it's the best because the language is very raw, like pure Arabic. Like if you want to, like there is different types of Arabic because people don't speak formal like the Quran people don't speak like that people speak very slang street language but the closest language to the Quran is in Yemen because the people of Yemen are the people of the Arab language 
So if you go to Egypt, you will see they speak Arabic, but they speak Arabic very uh, soft. It's not related to Arabic. So even the slang in Yemen, in my city, when I say something, it's related to old Arabic. It's very old. But uh, a lot of countries don't use our old Arabic now. You ask the question for me. The question for yeah, the answer for me, it's ties. Why? I born there, this is the first thing, and I study there, and the tra traditional, it's amazing. Traditional in Yemen. And also the weather. The weather, like, uh, they know, you, you know Malang? Yeah, it's cold and like this. This is my favorite weather like this. It means my favorite city, it's ties. Okay. There is uh, another question. It's, it's not so hot. Yeah. It's not so cold. It's in yeah. the middle. In yeah. the middle. Yeah, yeah because uh, we have city, it's hot, and we have city, it's cold. Like, so, so, yeah. yeah. So, for example, Hadramaut and my city, Aden, it's very hot. Yeah. But we have ocean. We have the ocean. This is the advantage we have. So if they want to swim, they come to Hadramaut. Yeah. And if we want cold, we go to the north. Yeah. 